everyone i am debbie here and welcome to sugar and spice today we are going to learn how to make milk mysore pak in a very easy way and it is something that even beginners can try and even as i break it you can see how soft it is and it just melts in your mouth so let's start cooking the ingredients for making this milk mysore pak is 1 cup i'm going to use the same cup for all my measurements i'm using this one cup of besan which i have already sifted and in the same cup i'm going to take two cups of sugar if you want you can actually reduce make it even uh, one and a half cups but for this recipe i am adding two cups of sugar and to the same cup i am going to add 3/4 a cup of water and now i am going to add 3 tablespoons of milk powder i'm adding 3 heaped tablespoons of milk powder for the first procedure i'm going to be using oil but as we start stirring i will be adding ghee so i'm going to be using 1 cup of oil now all we have to do is give this a good stir you need to remember i am mixing all this not on the stove i have still not put this on the flame i'll mix it and make sure that there are no bubbles the mixture is entirely well combined at this time i'm going to light my stove but i'm going to keep it on high for the first few minutes and you need to remember that when you make this sweet you need to constantly keep stirring it since i have mixed everything on putting the pan on the platform i have put it on high once this mixture becomes a little warm which i will know since my sugar will start to dissolve then i will reduce the flame to sim which will take at least 2 to 3 minutes as the sugar starts to dissolve you can feel this entire mixture becoming a little watery initially it was a little hard it was quite stiff but now you can see that it is quite runny and at this time i'm going to reduce the flame you can also see that the color has slightly become a little lighter than it was before so you need to keep stirring continuously maybe for the next 10 minutes it's almost 10 minutes now since i have been stirring this continuously on a low flame and you can see that it has come to a soft boil and the mixture has started leaving the sides so now i start adding my ghee i'm not going to add all the ghee at one time but instead i'm going to add it in small batches all the ghee that have poured is already absorbed so i'm going to pour the next batch and keep stirring still even this ghee is absorbed completely my mixture has been bubbling away for almost 15 minutes now from the time 
I reduce the flame and it's going to take at least another 7 to 8 minutes for this wheat to be ready but already the aroma of basin and ghee is just filled our entire house so now I'm going to add the third batch of ghee you need to remember I have taken just one cup of ghee which I'm adding in small batches and we are almost coming to the end of our preparation so you need to be very careful because at this time you don't want your sweet to catch at the bottom so do not leave the stove unattended keep stirring continuously and make sure that you get your sweet the way you would like to enjoy it the mixture has started to thicken and now I'm adding two more tablespoons of ghee and I'll continue to keep stirring till my mixer starts to leave the sides you can now see that the mixture has started to leave the sides so I'm going to add my final installment of ghee that I have kept stir it and I am going to check if the mixture is ready to be transferred to a plate to check this is quite simple all you need to do is take some this is super hot and you can see that even as you do it you can see it's forming a small ball so at this time it's ready I'm just giving it one final stir and switching off the flame I've removed the mixture from the flame and I've stirred it for at least a minute and now I'm going to pour it into a plate which I've already greased So I'm just going to transfer everything into a plate and I'm going to allow it to set. You can see that the mixture is quite fluid but at the same time even as I'm pouring you can see that it's just sliding off. I've just poured this but even now you can see how it has started to settle. This time it's super hot so I'm not going to touch it at all. I'm going to leave it like this for at least 15 minutes before I start to make pieces. It's almost 15 minutes now and I can, I'm able to touch this. I can feel that it is firm but I'm going to let it set for another 45 minutes and then we'll start making the pieces. It has taken me almost 40 minutes for the Mysore Park to get completely cool. So now I have started to make slices. You can make slices according to your wish. The choice is yours. You have seen how easy it was to make this milk Mysore Park. It not only is easy but it is super delicious and I wish that all of you can try it at home. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to give us a like, share and subscribe to Sugar and Spice. Bye.